What I wanted to do in Real Mandarin Port is to look behind the scenes. There are so many books, wonderful books, about how you should taste wine, vineyards, the terroir. And I just thought it was more interesting to go behind the scenes. And there is no greater wine than port, which actually demonstrates the Englishman's character. I'd written Rich Red Red 30 years ago, which was, I suppose, a serious book on port. And few books have been written since. And one day, standing next to um, one of my heroes, Hugh Johnson, uh, who is the world's greatest author on wine, uh, who is an exponent of, of updating books, he said, well then, you don't really need to update your book again. It's much more fun writing a new book. You know all the poor people. Why don't you write about poor people? And that gave me German idea. I'd already had that idea but it just sparked something in me that I wanted to write about uh, not just the port producers, but about port consumers, which go back hundreds of years. And when you are drinking a glass of port, an old glass of port, you are drinking a bit of history. So I got, I'd, I'd really got really what I wanted to write in the book. And then at, at the game fair at, at, at Beaver, two years ago, Another of my heroes, Ollie Preston, was, was at his stall. And I went up, completely curl call, and I talked about my book. And he was wonderful. And he has just created the, the piece of the jigsaw puzzle that was missing, because his cartoons absolutely explained and, and, and it, it, it made people enjoy the fun of drinking port. And uh, after all, port is, is there to be enjoyed. It's not supposed to be drunk by some half-dead colonel sitting at a club or the old port and lemons. It is a wonderful, wonderful one and is British and we should be proud of it. Real Men Drink Port and Ladies Do Too is a book for everybody who enjoys the good things in life. You don't have to like port, you have to enjoy good food and good wine. If I was reading Real Main Drink Port in the summer, I would very clearly have very close to hand a bottle of 10 or 20 or 20 port, chilled from the fridge. In the winter, I would go to vintage port. And I have to say, I would go towards the older vintage ports. And the good news for the consumers is that the, the, these, the prices are not, haven't risen nearly as fast as they might have done with the classic Bordeaux wines, so you can really find some really good old vintage ports. So 20, 30, 40 year old vintage port, absolutely wonderful. Winter's afternoon, log fire, glass port.